Yes, that is the sound of a human pulse because we're going to get healthy this Thursday talking about diagnosing medical conditions by listening to the pulse. It's something that Dr. Ellie Cole does in her work at the Nourishing Medicine Clinic. Now, you diagnose things like colds, flu, insomnia just by listening to that sound? Yes. Oh, actually, it's feeling. It's more like feeling the pulse as opposed to listening to it. Yeah, she doesn't put her ear on your wrist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she puts her ear on your wrist. So tell us how it works. How do you go about figuring these things out? Is it a faster pulse? Does that determine So something? typically in Western medicine, we think about the pulse rate being either too fast or too slow or maybe just right. But in Chinese medicine, the way that we think about the pulse is actually the quality of the pulse. Oh. So when I'm feeling somebody's pulse here, I have three Are you fingers. sure you don't want it on your ear? <laughs> 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 Let me see what it says. So I am feeling for the quality of the pulse. So is it what we would call wiry, like a guitar string? Or is it really weak? Um, is it uh, one, f we call it scattered, it's like almost like putting your finger on a bowl of jello. Right? Oh. That feels really different than a guitar string, right? You can imagine that. What yeah. would that scattered indicate? Because I'm sure that's what you're feeling. <laughs> <laughs> You've got the bowl of jelly pulse. <laughs> Congratulations. And that indicates what? You won't be here on Monday. Yeah. <laughs> well, she won't be here. Oh. She's off. Right. It works. <laughs> it means there's improper blood flow to that particular organ system. So I feel the pulse on both sides of the wrist, the right and the left. I use three fingers in different positions. So on the right hand, we have, you know, what we can tell how the blood is flowing through the sinus area and the head. Um, the second one is the digestive area. The third one is the urinary and um, kidney bladder. Mm -hmm. And then on the other side, the, the first finger I put down is on the heart and then the liver and then the, the adrenal glands, hormonal stuff. Now, you tested Drew's pulse earlier. It probably would not be good for your practice to compare <laughs> the sound or the feel of my pulse versus Kathy's, right? That would probably not be a good practice to compare. Well, I've found that I have inadequate with blood flow to an organ, so now I'm very <laughs> concerned. You know which one it is? Uh, but you did feel mine. I did. And oh, Drew. But I was. I had, oh, I had Drew. To say, I was so bad. In the building. I was hustling into the building. <laughs> I imagine it was fast. That probably indicates. Yeah. yeah. No. The main thing I felt was when I felt the the area of where your heart is. Um, it feels like you do not get enough sleep. Mm. Are you tired? Oh, I'm glad to know he has a heart. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. It's not a rest. It's not a rest. You too. Well, of course I don't. I go to bed late. I wake up early. You got yeah. and, I nap, boys. and I nap in the car. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Sleep so is horrible. that shows up in your pulse. The only thing worse than my sleeping habits are my eating habits and my exercising habits. <laughs> but other than those three areas, I am you're very solid. Other you're than your great. entire health, yeah. you're good. Well, he made mention of the rate of the pulse. You know, being up because he was rushing into the building. Mm -hmm. Does the rate matter, or just what you feel? The rate does matter, but not as much as it does, like in Western medicine. Yeah, in Chinese medicine, more about the quality. We want to know know how the blood is flowing through each organ system. Are there some very common things you do find in people or some mm -hmm. weird things that people never would have guessed you could figure out? Yes, and you know, I mean, a lot of the things that we can diagnose, they, they need to go to their MD and have a proper diagnosis. But sure. for example, it's very common for me to feel someone's pulse and I can tell if they're at risk for type 2 diabetes or for fatty liver disease. So when I feel that in the pulse, that's not a definitive diagnosis. Right. You have fatty liver. Right. No, they need to go to their doctor and get tested. Hey, have you ever been sure. checked for this? You may yeah. want to. Right. I'm, but I'm it's a red flag for me to say, hey, here's something I think you need to be tested for. Hmm. Yeah. So it's not something that then you would diagnose something to fix. I mean, do you diagnose an herb or something like that? To yeah, so folks? basically, what's the point of diagnosis? Well, we need to know, okay, what's going wrong? Where is the blood not flowing well in the body? And then from there, because I'm a Chinese medical doctor, then I will go, oh, okay, this is the kind of acupuncture I will do on you. These are okay. the herbs I will choose yep, for I you. See. These are the lifestyle changes. These yeah. are the dietary changes. We did take a shot there of the, the chart. Um, mm -hmm hoisted up there or I guess placed <laughs> up there leaning um, and that is what you do you know like you say you really keep track of the different types of pulses and this helps you yeah because that. as I'm treating a patient as we go through a treatment plan their pulse changes right and it, and it should because as I'm giving them herbs to increase blood flow to their liver for example I want to see their liver pulse change right how, how, oh sorry to interrupt mm -hmm. but how often do you recommend this um, well, so when I see patients, I always take a pulse, you know, the first visit, and then as if they're doing herbs, then I'm going to follow up with them each time they come in. Typically, my patients come in once a week. Okay. Yeah. Do Great. you make the appointment now, Kathy, or do you wait until <laughs> yeah. after the show? She's that like, let's get this done. <laughs> Kathy I will think make I'm that a lost appointment. cause. <laughs> Dr. Ellie Cole, the nourishing, the nourishing medicine, medicine clinic. I'm wrapping I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank I you apologize. so much. <laughs> Thank you.